What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei here to bring you week 10 of the portfolio update. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know this video is for entertainment purposes only, so I'll leave the full disclaimer in the description below. So I have not added any money until recently, so the last time I made a video on the portfolio was about December 10th to December 11th, and the last thing I did here recently was add $200 on December 19th. So that brought our total invested to $60,700.01 and 84 cents. So we're slowly getting close to the 100K mark that we're trying to reach here. We're, overall, we're trying to reach the 1 million, but we're getting there slowly but surely. And then the other thing is I'm not investing as heavily. So I am keeping a certain portion of money that I could have invested into the portfolio right now, but I'm kind of putting it aside into a high yield savings account just so when there's a market correction I'm able to just drop a lot of money in at once not at once but you know over that short period of time and average down on a lot of these shares that I really want to add more positions to so that's my strategy right now um, what do you guys think you guys think I should start adding more to it or should I still hold off let me know in the comment section uh, I always uh, appreciate the opinions and the suggestions in the comments you guys leave so let's go to the m1 portfolio so here's the m1 portfolio easy money it's actually becoming really easy money because we've only invested sixty thousand dollars about with our own money here and capital appreciation which actually you guys won't be able to see this but we've almost made about twenty thousand dollars in just capital appreciation which is amazing but you guys aren't able to see that because I did transfer uh, some stocks over from my Robinhood to my M1 and then they had to like reset the whole uh, tracking of the graph and so I lost most of that history for that one year. So I've been investing for since of January 2019th and I'm actually coming up to one full year of investing and it's been such a great ride so far. I do still have to experience that ride where it's like, oh... The stock market's crashing or all the stocks are going down but i'm trying to keep that mentality of you know that's awesome because companies are going to be at a great discount and who doesn't love a discount so i'm trying to save up that little small portion so i can add some more to my position at that time so it's kind of what warren buffett said uh, be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy i think that's the exact phrase but i could be wrong so Anyways, uh, before I do forget, uh, we did reach the 100 subscriber mark, and so I did do a video on the, I'm giving a $20 Amazon gift card, so it's a giveaway. If you guys missed it, please go ahead and check it out. I'll, I, a little pop-up should be showing up in the top right soon, and you can click on that, or I'll leave a link in the description below. Check it out. It's for any of my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification, hit the like like button and go ahead and comment on that other video and then December 30th I will well it ends on December 30th and I, then I'll be picking a winner and then you can get a chance to win a $20 Amazon gift card so it's free money so be sure to do that but anyways we if we click here on the portfolio market gains here for us is four thousand fifty six dollars and eighty eight cents and then earn dividends two hundred and one dollars if we look here on December 10th, which is when I made that other update, we're at $78,274, and now we're at $82,067. And I've only added $200, which is awesome. That's almost like a $4,000 in just capital appreciation. But let's check out the holdings, which will actually show all of the earnings that we've made because, you know, my portfolio got reset. So I have the holdings here and I did filter out by the unrealized gains. So if we look here, the best one that's performing the best is Tesla, which we've invested 475 ish dollars and we're on a return 122% up. So it's up to a thousand dollars, which is awesome. And then if we go up here from the top, Nvidia, we've invested about $6,000 and it's up 67% on our return. And then Apple, which is doing amazing. We invested $5,000, we're up about 70%. And then Microsoft, we've invested about 7,000. 
and then we're up about 38 percent and then skyworks which is doing great as well three thousand four hundred dollars and then we're up about 65 ish percent and then disney 33 percent at&t 31 you can see all these companies here that were up a lot up in the 20 30 percent even 60 70 percent legged and black 40 percent these are awesome and then um if i actually go to the very bottom you guys should be able to see that we've invested about 62 62 thousand dollars but on the google sheet it says 60 thousand this also includes uh any shares that i did sell and i did gain a you know money on and so our total here is the 82,000. This is a 32% return in the first year, which is awesome. It's $19,981, almost $20,000. So that's really putting our money to work. As long as we invested in great companies, we should be fine. But anyways, guys, we'll go to activities and then we can go from there. So here I have activities pulled up and the last thing I did show you guys from the last update was Southern companies that had paid us a dividend. So right after that on December 10th, Johnson & Johnson paid us almost $7 um, and then the United Technology Corporation paid us uh, $3.77 on December 10th and then I ended up buying $18, about $19 worth of Home Depot and then here we ended up selling $270 and this is the one where I was asking should I sell General Mills or should I keep it I did end up selling out of it I'm really more interested in companies that are increasing their dividends and General Mills was not doing that for me so I did sell it at a gain we did gain about maybe I don't remember like $50 or so but it was good um, so I did sell it we ended up buying some other companies so then Microsoft on December 12th paid us $32 and then on the same day 3m paid us $13 and 41 cents then if I go back to the next page reality income paid us three dollars and 88 cents and then Apple hospitality paid us 54 cents and then Coca-Cola on December 16th paid us $1.23. And then Duke Energy on that same day also paid us $2.96. And then EPR Properties as well on that same day paid us $1.04. And then McDonald's as well paid us $1.36 on that same day. And then on December 17th, I did buy 200 and about $290 worth of stocks. And that was eight buys. So I bought Constellation Brands, $40 of that. Clorox, $19. LTC Properties, $20 of that. Cisco, $40. And then Home Depot, $30 of that. And then Boeing, I bought $60 worth of it. And then Amazon, I tried buying $50, but I guess I didn't want to take that extra penny. And then EPR Properties, we bought $30.53 of that. And then on December 17th, Cedar Fair paid us $14.09. And then on that same day as well, United Health Group paid us $4.18. So we've been getting paid a lot of dividends this month, which is awesome. And then we've just been reinvesting them. And then December 18th here, I did two buys of $55.41. So we bought $35.41 of EPR properties and then $20 of Boeing. And then here, Northrop Grumman paid us a dollar and five cents. And then December nineteenth, I bought one hundred and thirty-six dollars. We bought thirty dollars of Amazon, Pfizer twenty dollars, EPR Properties thirty-one dollars, Cisco twenty-five dollars, and then thirty dollars worth of Boeing. And then on December nineteenth. Home Depot paid us $2.65 and then the same day you guys saw that on the Google Sheet I had the $200 I deposited that shows up here as well and then the 20th NVIDIA paid us $6.77 and waste management as 
well paid as a dollar 74 cents on that same day so we're getting a lot of dividends we're doing a lot of buying i do have on the top right 76 dollars and 17 cents available for me to buy which i'll be buying some on monday which is awesome I'm trying to keep that money invested and continue uh, getting more dividends and reinvesting them as well and we'll grow that portfolio very large over time and so one thing that I am doing is I am going to holdings and then you can click on the realized gains and it should be in the red so I've been buying companies that have been in the red I've been trying to lower my cost base on these and you know eventually if I do get to the green then I know there'll be another company that I hold that's gonna be in the red so that's where I can average down some but anyways, uh, the last thing I do want to show you guys is I have the Seeking Alpha emails where the companies sent me an email saying that, hey, they declared a dividend payout. So let's check that out. All right, guys. So here's the dividend increase emails that we've gotten. So we've gotten a total of 10 emails. The first one here is Realty Income. And if we click on this, we get that they're going to be paying 22 cents per share monthly dividend and they will be actually they did an increase of 0.2 percent from prior 22 cents and seven which i guess doesn't make a difference i'm not sure on this one it's like past the 22 cents so maybe once it gets higher they'll do the 23 cents but anyways they'll be paying out january 15th and then the ex dividend dates Jan uh, december 31st so on to the next one. So Caterpillar is the next one that declares a dividend. And they will be declaring a dollar and three cents per share quarterly. And they'll be paying on February 20th. The ex dividend date here is December 17th. And for anybody that doesn't know about the ex dividend date, that just means that you have to hold the stock by that date. And if you own it, then they'll pay you out on February 20th. So the next one we have, we have here is Altria, which is great. We do own a lot of shares in it, and I'm pretty excited about it because it's usually a pretty large amount that we get paid so far. And so they're declaring $0.84 cents per share quarterly, and they will be paying out December 10th. Sorry, they'll be paying out January 10th. And then the ex dividend date is December 24th. And, you know, when Altria was in the red... On our portfolio I just kept buying more and more so it's pretty good and so here the next one is Broadcom all right so Broadcom here declares three dollars and 25 cents per share quarterly whoa 22.6 percent an increase from the prior dividend of two dollars 65 cents that's awesome and they'll be paying out December 31st and then the ex dividend date here is December 20th that's really awesome. So we got 22.6% an increase on a company that we own and we didn't do anything besides holding it and we got a free raise. That's awesome. So this is what I really love about Dividend Growth Invest. Emails like these that say, hey, because you're a shareholder, we're going to give you 22.6% an increase from what we were paying you because we're doing great. So that's awesome. So let's look at the next one. So the next one's American Towers. So American Tower declares a dollar and one cents per share quarterly, and then they increased it to six point three percent from prior ninety five cents. That's amazing. And then they're going to be paying January fourteenth. Ex dividend dates December twenty sixth. We just got another company that increased it, and I'm pretty happy. That's really awesome to start the new year starting like this with all these increases all right so the next one is AT&T so AT&T declares 52 cents per share quarterly and then they did a two percent increase from the prior 51 cents so we got another company that just increased their dividends and this is what I'm talking about we're gonna get to that 1 million with companies like these that continue increasing and they will be paying out February third and then the ex dividend dates january 9th so the next one's pfizer here so pfizer declares 38 cents per quarter well per share quarterly and then they did a 5.6 increase from the prior 36 cents so here's another company that just declared an increase on the shares 
and they'll be paying out March 6th and then X dividend dates January 30th it's awesome so the next one's EPR properties EPR properties declares 37 cents per share monthly they'll be paying out January 15th and then the X dividend dates December 30th and then the second to last one is Boeing so Boeing declares two dollars and five cents per share quarterly and they'll be paying out March 6th and then the next dividend date is February 13th and then the last one is Apple Hospitality so Apple Hospitality here declares 10 cents per share monthly and they'll be paying out January 15th and then the next dividend date is January 2nd so that's awesome guys on the amount of dividends that we're going to be getting paid and also the ones that have inc declared increases on the dividend payouts and so I want to show you guys something so I have here a Google Sheet that I keep track of all the dividends that I get paid every month from the portfolio and we've made a total of $596.50 and if I go down here we have the monthly dividend which you know just shows you how many dividends we've been paid out for every month and whenever we start again in January you guys saw that all these stocks that basically declared an increase that's what's going to help us beat the previous year's dividends as well as constantly investing and reinvesting those dividends that we get paid but just those increases that the companies do helps tremendously in the long term but you know this concludes the update I want to thank you guys so much for watching if you guys haven't hit the like button on that video please go ahead and do so leave any suggestions any feedback uh, any comments in the comment section below and uh, thank you so much for watching and in case I don't make a video before Christmas um, just hopefully you guys have a great Christmas and uh, happy holidays and uh, thanks so much again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye